Hi there. In this video, I am going to do a deep dive into the retained earnings presentation that is part of the statement of shareholders' equity inside the financial statements of the annual report. Um, remember, retained earnings presentation, so, so often textbooks will refer to this as the retained earnings statement, even though it's not a separate statement, it's, it's part of this statement of shareholders' equity. Um, but nonetheless, let's talk about the elements that will be present within that retained earnings presentation. Um, there's going to be a header. Now, that header, of course, is for the statement of shareholders' equity. That header will have, like other headers, the company name. It will have the financial statement name, which will typically be statement of shareholders' equity. And then it will have the period of time covered. Most financial statements cover a period of time, balance sheet being the exception to that, being a point in time. Um, and then, so, but in this case, we are, we're back to kind of a period of time. And, and, and this, this presentation is essentially going to tell us what happened to retained earnings over that period of time. And so there's four essential components that you'll have. That is, what retained earnings did the company start with? How much additional earnings or loss did they get during the period? Did they give any earnings back to investors, known as a dividend? And therefore, how much in earnings do they end the period with? And this is really just a mathematical equation. Whatever retained earnings you start with, remember, retained earnings is just the income that you've previously earned that you held within the company to fund future operations. So whatever retained earnings you start with, you add net income, to them because that's more earnings or in the case of of a loss that would be a subtraction right you subtract the dividends that you declare or what you gave back to the investors because you're not retaining that in the company you're giving that back and that will then equal ending retained earnings that's it that's your that's your math right there beginning retained earnings plus net income minus dividends equals ending retained earnings let's take a look at an example here we have Universal Insurance Holdings. There's the company name in the header. Statement of Stockholders' Equity, that's the um, uh, uh, financial statement name that the retained earnings presentation is a part of. And then it says for the years ended, so that's our period of time that's covered. And we're gonna focus right here just on this column, right? There's a lot of information in the Statement of Shareholders' Equity, but all we're gonna care about from an introductory perspective is what's happening with retained earnings. And that's this column right here. And you'll notice that the first number right here is the beginning balance in retained earnings. And then they added their net income, and then they subtracted, notice there's parentheses around this number, parentheses suggest a subtraction, their dividends that they declared or the, or the earnings they gave back to investors. And then that equals their ending retained earnings. And that's all there is to it. Now, you'll see some examples where maybe there's some other miscellaneous adjustments in there. There will be companies that have some other miscellaneous adjustments. But in general, these are the elements you will see. Beginning plus net income minus dividends equals ending. And that is your retained earnings presentation nested within the statement of stockholders' equity. All right, that's it. Hope you found it informative. Hope you enjoy. Join me for the next video.